everyone, it's Mandy here from On The Grow. And today we have basic salad mix hydroponically. I don't know why I said that like a spooky ghost. Maybe I'm getting excited for October. But anyways, <laughs> um, we have already seeded both trays with 25 grams of seed per tray. And we're going to be using this bio straight growing material. We're also gonna be bottom watering it. Over here is gonna be my Epsom salt water, which is gonna be our control group. <laughs> and then over here is our Maxi Grow. I can't wait to show you guys the results over the next few days. What's up everyone? It's Mandy here from On The Grow and today we're going to be doing our basic salad mix and we're doing it in a new location over at Hector Batiste Studios where we're going to be playing with robots. But before we move on to playing with robots, we're going to go ahead and do our usual harvest video. Okay, so let's take a look at the crops. First over here on this side we have our Epsom salt tray and the growth is looking pretty decent. It's mostly uniform. Back here, it kind of got a little weird. And then if you look over at the Maxi Grow, Maxi Grow is looking very full. And there's actually a huge difference here in these trays. And even with the leaf size, the cotyledons, they are much bigger on this tray than they are over here on this one. Um, so with that said, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these and we'll talk about everything afterwards. Okay, so I just got done harvesting both of the basic salad mix trays. And over here on our Epsom salt side, we have 213 grams. And then over here on our Maxi Grow side, we have 357 grams. That means that there is a 144 gram difference between the two. So now let's move into what worked and what didn't work. What didn't work was one basic salad mix grows at different rates. So it caused it to have decomposing matter underneath the canopy. And because of that, we cannot use this product and we will be tossing it out. But what did work was adding nutrients to the water did in fact make the growth a lot better. Um, and over here, I mean, it did decent, but it still just wasn't as good as our maxi grow. Uh, so, with that being said, we always encourage you guys to do tests like this at home. Um, it's really good for you, A, to know how to grow in your space and B, to have a lot of fun doing it. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. And if you'd like to subscribe to us, please do. And if you'd like to follow us on Instagram, we are at On The Grow Farms. Thank you and have a great day.